Can we start over? And we're driving, driving, driving. Will you stop with that? <laughs> <laughs> driving, driving, driving. The Blacklist is a show that has kept everyone on their toes ever since it began, but fans are not complaining. They love the mystery intrigue, and they love being kept on their toes. The mystery isn't only present in the show. Apparently, there are many secrets behind the scenes, too, and things are never what they seem. Now on its eighth season, The Blacklist is just getting better and better, and we can't get enough. In this video, we're going to talk about the things behind the scenes and secrets which many of you do not know about. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. The stars of the show sometimes shoot for 12 hours, so it's not as glamorous as most people think. Pulling a 12-hour shift, especially in those wee hours of the morning, is not easy and it isn't glamorous. Sometimes the cast is in the middle of a snowbank for 12 hours on a few days, and it's more work than people are willing to put in. Yes, we see everything on screen all put together and quick, but that isn't the reality behind the camera. Not many fans may know this, but James Spader is a real-life con man. James Spader shares some similarities to his on-screen character. He plays the role of a charismatic and enigmatic criminal mastermind named Raymond Reddington. Con man may be an example exaggeration, but did have a mischievous streak. He worked as a professional yoga instructor in the 1970s, but he had no qualifications and didn't have any idea how to do yoga. Although he was completely unqualified, he did it because he heard that the hours are flexible and that there would be a lot of ladies around. He said that he found a yoga pamphlet that said all he had to do was hold a position and breathe, and he told his students to do the same thing. He also said that sometimes he would fall asleep while in the middle of class. Lucky for him, the students didn't find out. He he might not be a real yoga instructor, but Spader has an eidetic memory. Those of you who watch Big Bang Theory may be familiar with eidetic memory. It means that you're able to remember every single detail with perfect accuracy and clarity. It's also commonly known as photographic memory. He can read scripts once and remember the lines verbatim. Amazing! Sometimes we wish we had the same ability. Apparently, the only time he has difficulty is when there are two similar looking words next to each other on the page. There is no real way to test if a person has eidetic memory, and so far there are no verified cases of the ability. We really do hope that James Spader is not conning us on this one. We will just have to take him on his word for it. Now let's move on to Megan Boone. She plays the role of Liz Keene, the star who has been on the show for eight years, is bidding adieu. Liz Keene is FBI profiler who does a lot of find and chase after bad guys. In order to bring life to her character on the show, she does a lot of physical training. All the action you are seeing is purely Megan Boone. She has been doing Krav Maga and weight training and and ensures that she's in the best physical shape of her life before she shoots. However, she did minimize her participation in stunts when she found out she was pregnant. She used to be in the dark about her character's story arc. For much of the series, she has been kept in the dark of what's ahead, and that was all right with her because she understands that it's needed for her character, Elizabeth Keene. However, she did say that after a few seasons, she was changing her strategy and going to see and plot what's happening further down the road. Most people would assume that the charismatic James Spader got hired first but Megan Boone was the first person cast for the show. Although the show looks like it was written especially for James Spader, nothing behind the scenes is as it seems. Megan Boone first landed a role on the blacklist. She was the first actress chosen by the producers and it was the rest of the cast that was built around her. It was wonderful news for the up-and-coming actress to be handpicked for the role. However, not everything went as planned. She needed a co-star for the role of Raven Reddington and this proved to be a difficult task as the studio couldn't find anyone that meshed well with Boone. Luckily, along came a spader to complete the cast and the duo became a hit. Amir Arson, who everyone knows on the show as FBI Special Agent Aram Much to Buy, the guy that everyone loves, is only supposed to appear in one episode. Everyone loved that he has been with the show for eight seasons already. He said that he did a little improvision by the computer and the show used it, something that is pretty rare for a scripted network show. When he saw that they used it, he said to himself that it's a good thing that they're responding to him. He then got a call in for another episode and from there, more episodes just kept coming in. To make the show as believable as possible, they hired ex-military men to serve as advisors and consultants on set. Nobody wants to watch a show that is hinging on the unbelievable, unless the show is about magic and fantasy. If you have a show with FBI profilers and villains, it better seem believable and realistic. To ensure that, the show has hired the services of ex-military men. Not only do they serve as consultants, they also have former rangers and special forces. They had a lot of guys who knew how to use weapons to guide the cast on the fight scenes. The show might be about mystery and intrigue, but the whole series was planned ahead of time. Nothing was made up along the way. A lot of fans have invested their emotions in the long-spanning show and it would be such a shame to disappoint them. Nobody wants to get wrapped up in a mystery
industry only to get disappointed along the way. Fans of The Blacklist can rest easy knowing that the show has a plan and is going somewhere. The show's creator, John Reddington, dispelled any doubts in an interview with Variety Magazine. He said that everyone involved had been included in the discussion about the whole series. They have a Bible in the writer's room which keeps track of the plots and the characters. The path for the show has been carefully constructed and planned. They don't make moves arbitrarily. Everything is calculated and is built in for the purpose of a final conclusion. Although we'll be sad to see the show end, we can't wait for the show's finale. It's going to be good. Are you confused about the show sometimes? Don't worry, you're not alone. James Spader is just as confused as we are. This may sound strange as his character is supposed to be the one person who always knows everything. He is calm and collected, but Spader doesn't know anything more than we do. As a matter of fact, he has requested to only be given one script at a time. He has no idea what will happen to his character in the future, and he's in the dark just as we are. Well, that's going to make things interesting. When most actors want to know things before the audiences do, James's take is interesting. He's just not interested in premature revelations of any kind, I guess. Speaking of James and his character Reddington, his character's iconic hat was all his idea. When you hear the name Raymond Reddington, you naturally think of intrigue, mystery, crime, manipulation, of course, that iconic hat. It has become part and parcel of his persona just like Indiana Jones and his whip and Dorothy and her red shoes. Without it, red just wouldn't be red. Given that it has become as much part of the show as the cast, it's interesting to note that the creators didn't come up with the idea. In fact, they were actually against it in the beginning. Executive producer John Eisendrath admitted that the hat was Spader's idea. He said that Spader always thought that his character should wear a hat and they were all against it. They discouraged him by telling him that nobody wanted to see a guy with a hat. He was insistent and in the end he one, and not everyone acknowledges just how right Spader was. Another secret that not so many people know is that the show was inspired by a real person. The show is a web of secrets that came from an unlikely scenario. The show is exciting and the events in it are sometimes outlandish. When you watch it, you might think that everything was just born out of fantasy and that nothing like it could ever happen in real life. You're wrong. The show is based on a true story. Showrunner Essendrath revealed that it's based on a real-life criminal, the real-life version of Raymond Red Reddington, Whitey Ball. The world-class criminal has been on the list of FBI's most wanted fugitive for two decades. Reddington and Bulger aren't exactly the same because Bulger was captured while Reddington turned himself in. We have come to the end of our video. Hopefully the secrets we shared about the show have helped you to get to know it a little better. Let us know in the comments section if you have things to share with other Blacklist fans. Stick around for new videos.